What's up? We have a key that is uh, RAV4 2011 and the battery has uh, basically been uh, uh, emptied uh, by um, using it for so much and we're going to change this and put the new batteries in. Okay, so there is this a little bit of a, um, a thing in here, a little slot in here. So we're going to put this screwdriver in here and try to pry it off. I heard a little click. So we're going to go around a little bit more and see if we can pry it some more. So I'm going to go around over here and try to pry it a little bit more. And I hear more click and it's now completely off. This screwdriver is a little tiny one compared to this one that's a little heavier. So let's see which one um, is going to work out better. So I opened it. There is all sorts of things in here that I'm going to get uh, uh, Kleenex and there's uh, wear and tear and all the things over the years it has put a lot of uh, things in here so I'm going to clean this with a Kleenex and then we now have this uh, piece over here that has to come off this piece uh, could come off by itself you just grab it and just pry it off and that's where that piece is okay so we put this over here now this one also has a little bit of a dirt on it as well Let's see if we can maybe clean this a little bit so this one I'm going to try to pry it off and put it upside down so just remember you have to put this back on the way it was so this is upside down now we have to remove the cover off of this so if you look at it there's more slots here I'm going to try to use this little bigger screwdriver and try to pry it open and I did pry it open and a little bit more any other place that you could find that was basically the most of the area and tried to pry it off there's little clips that is holding it and uh, you don't want to break any of the clips so here we go now the cover is off the battery is actually on this side so if you look at the battery the battery has a clip in here that is holding it over here and there is a couple of metal here that is holding it so I'm going to start um, moving this around a little bit push it down a little bit to see if I can get the battery out and I was able to get the battery up the battery is for this uh, Toyota model uh, the battery is uh, 20, CR2016 is 3 volt uh, other keys might look like this but might have different batteries so before you actually buy the battery I suggest that you open your key check to make sure what battery it is before you actually buy them uh, initially when I was um, trying to look for this other um, manufacturers were showing uh, of this uh, battery they were showing uh, like 2025 but this one is 2016 so make sure that you buy the proper battery so this battery is, um, I just purchased it from Best Buy, so all we have to do is to open this. So let's see if we can use either the screwdriver or scissors uh, to uh, break the seal and get the battery out. Okay, so let's get this battery out of this uh, container. Okay, these are um, also very fragile, so you don't want to force them too much. Try to get as much as of a wrapping as you can, and the battery will pop out. So this is the battery. That's the bottom part, and that's the top that we're going to put that in. So if you look at the battery again, uh, the battery is a plus uh, at the top, and the bottom is the negative. So you want to put, um, so I'm not sure if it, but the reflection is going to show, but the battery is plus on top and the CR2016 so that's that's what that is so we're going to peel off the back end of it and try not to touch the battery too much when you peel this off so now we're going to try to put this in here and it looks pretty clean all the leads looks very clean so we're going to put this in here and try to push it down and see if we can make a connection uh, so it's still not quite getting in there and it's very very tight so let's see if we can try to get that in there um, maybe we can start from this end and see if it moves so let's see it's still not here we go 
if I press it, I can get I can get this move. So let's see if we can put it back in and try to move the clip and see if we can put this in here. So it's a very tiny thing and it's uh, clips everywhere. So you have to work with uh, patience when you when you do this. The, there's clips all over the place. So I'm gonna try to move this clip on and then try to move this clip on. Uh, my fingers are actually too big to do this. So I'm gonna see if I can use uh, this to uh, try to position it properly. See if I can put this in. It's beginning to look like it's such a tight a space that I just can't get them in here. So let's see if I can push it this way. So I'm gonna put that down here. Do you do a different strategy? So I'm gonna do it this way. Here we go, the battery is not in. So I had to do a different strategy to be able to get the battery in. It's such a tight. And I can see that when I'm pressing the button, I can see that it's working. So the battery is tightly in. So you don't want this to move. Now the battery is in there. And um, if you press the button, you actually can see that it's working. The little red light is working. So that means the battery is fine. So now I'm gonna start putting this back into the container. So I'm gonna clip it. So that's clipped. Now we're going to um, reconstruct. Uh, so we were destructing uh, the key. Now we're going to reconstruct it, put everything back the way it was. So this was upside down, remember. So we're gonna put it right side in here. And we're going to match it with this exactly how it was. And now we're going to go back to our keys. And you don't want to disturb any of these things in here. And we want to put this back exactly the way we had it. So we had this. Why don't we put this in first? It might work out a little bit better if we put this in first. So let's just start putting that first. Yep, yeah, that might work out a little bit better. And now we're going to put this in here which is this way so that's in and now the last part is to actually put the cover on so now we're gonna try to get the cover on in here and that's it let's see if it works so if I press the button I should see the light you can see the light over here and that's it it's working so the battery changed and we are done so I have two of these batteries because the car comes with two batteries so now I will uh, change the other one and that's it.